Jameis Winston led the team to victory. <laughs> oh, man, Atlanta fans, you knew I would be coming at you when I made this video. So, yesterday, Tampa Bay, Atlanta, in the week of really close games, down to the wire, some games were like one point, others were two, some even a touchdown, as in our case here. Tampa Bay went to Atlanta and completely destroyed them. And speaking of Jameis Winston, you Falcons fans see that he had four touchdowns on you, had a 122 quarterback rating at the end of the game. You should have took the chance to draft Jameis Winston or trade it with us for our first round pick in the 2015 NFL Draft when you had the chance. Because, let's face facts, Matt Ryan's going to be retiring in a few years. We, ne You guys need a quarterback that's going to be your long-term future. Now, I will say that Devontae Freeman is alright, but as we move on to this season, I can tell that Falcons quarterback is going to be a glaring need in the next few seasons. And you could tell that Dirk Coder was really excited to win that game. Seeing James Wins four touchdown drive, his on five drives. Certainly made up for that interception he had early on. And you could tell that was a sophomore slump that Dirk Coder wanted to do away with with Jameis Winston. Which he did. Case in point, touchdown to Mike Evans, touchdown to Austin Safarian Jenkins, touchdown to Charles Sims the third, and touchdown to, I believe it was Adam Humphreys. One touchdown was two. And, of course, when Atlanta was threatening to come back, Bucks defense made some key critical stops and kept Atlanta to 24 points while we went on to take 31 points in the Georgia Dome. So, Atlanta fans, you got to be pissed right now that you're starting the series out 0-1. Meanwhile, we're going up against the 0-1 Cardinals next week, and God, I hope we destroy them. Because I'm going to tell you something. Jameis Winston, when he came into the NFL, I was a firm believer that he would make big plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Which he did. He did. And he won Rookie of the Year for it. Now, I'm seeing more things out of him this season. And I hope to God that he's an AP finalist for best quarterback in the league. Because let me tell you something, Cam Newton had his NFL honors, now it's time to move on to the next quarterback you got, which is Jameis, a younger version of Cam Newton. Why do I know this? Well, considering Cam Newton is where he's at right now, an elite quarterback, Jameis is following in his footsteps, he's modeling himself after Cam Newton, and God, I hope Tampa Bay goes to a Super Bowl with Jameis in the near future. Because let me tell you, Jameis Winston, the way he played against Atlanta, it was prolific. He was putting up numbers and points. Something that elite quarterbacks can do on a regular basis. When Jameis gets the opportunity to play in the Super Bowl, his... I don't know how to explain this. His numbers and points will go off the chart. He will win MVP guaranteed. So bottom line is Tampa Bay gets a win. We go to 1-0. All you people out in Tampa and in Florida have got to be really excited about this. But all you AFC Florida fans and you got to be disappointed pointed that Green Bay and Seattle beat your teams. And speaking of Seattle, 
see Russell Wilson struggling. If he struggles all year, this could be easy pickings for the Buccaneers.